this is where I'm just going over my planner and I'm marking off some things that I got done. I didn't do everything yesterday that was on my list to do, which I think I got everything done except for dusting. And I didn't really have anything to do today other than clean off the tables in the living room and I still have to do that. And I went ahead yesterday and got two things done that were down on my list for the rest of the week for Thursday and Friday. And then I'm just gonna turn back here to my routines. And my Fly Lady morning routine included a swish and swipe, unload the dishwasher. I did swish and swipe both bathrooms. I did not unload the dishwasher because I'm the only one here right now. So there I'm not using the dishwasher right now. I just had a few dishes um, I hand washed and I put them away. A uh, load of laundry. Again, I'm the only one here right now, so I'm only washing laundry like about every two to three days, and I don't really have that much. I'm not even separating it, because if I do, I won't even have enough to have a full load. So I'm just taking what I've got and just washing them together. Made the bed. So my morning fly lady routine is complete. My morning self-care routine was my hair serum my a new day cream an eye gel which i didn't use an eye gel i'm using that vitamin c serum I, I picked that up over the weekend at ross and so i'm trying that out and then my hair oil the argon oil which i will do that when i get dressed and get ready to go to work so everything on my morning routine is done for now the only thing that i have left I brushed my teeth, my face had already been washed, and take my vitamins. So this is my self-care morning and evening, so I just have to take my vitamins, which I cannot do that until I eat breakfast. I'm just one of those people that cannot take medication on an empty stomach. I will get so sick. So I'm going to go make myself some breakfast now so that I can take my vitamins and then get dressed and finish and today, um, as far as my chores, this is zone one this week, so which is the living room and the dining room. So I will be working through my 15 minutes of zone cleaning time and work on these tasks. I have some written down in my weekly planner. Uh, throughout the week just to make sure they get taken care of but however many of these tasks I can get done in 15 minutes a day is what I'm getting done and the only thing else I will have left to do is my miracle morning and then get ready for work While the Keurig is going, I'm just going to work on making myself a little breakfast. I'm going to make me two eggs scrambled and I'm going to have two frozen waffles. for this morning two eggs scrambled with just a splash of milk and a little pinch of shredded cheese into it two frozen uh, Eggo chocolate chip waffles with a little bit of syrup okay maybe more than just a little bit and a little splash of ready whip my coffee is ready and I'm just going to take it off and add a spoonful of sugar to it and let it cool because I make my own iced coffee and so I obviously have to let this cool off but I put the sugar in it before it cools off so that it will melt it. So I'm going to add a little spoonful of sugar to my coffee, let it cool and go and eat my breakfast and then I will move on to the next task. <music> So I've had my breakfast, 
I washed up the breakfast dishes. My coffee is still cooling and I went ahead and took my vitamins. I am uploading a video right now of the week before we went on Hurricane Watch. Brianna came down and we spent a whole week doing what we call our farewell to Florida tour where we went to some of our favorite beaches that we've discovered down here. And so we had a whole week of like just enjoying everything that we love about Florida. So I have a video of that that I'm uploading right now. So be sure to check them out if you want to see some of Florida's best beaches and so it's after nine it's like actually it's 9 21 and i have to be logged in for work at 9 30 so i'm gonna run and get dressed for work really quick and get in there and get logged on for work i take a break my first break is at 11 30 and that's when i go back and do more things that need to be done okay so laundry got done and i went to put it in to dry um, I got dressed, but I didn't do anything with this hair, so I decided that I'm just going to rock this messy bun today. I'm now logged in to work, but I do work for a hospital, and violating HIPAA is not something that they see as a joke in any way. So I just have to make sure that nothing on this monitor is visible on this video because this is like not even just lose your job, getting trouble. This is like violating HIPAA is like get your butt sent to prison trouble. So just going to sit here and work for a while at my break, um, which I usually take a break about 1130. It's 930 now. I will get up and do a few things. I have several more things that I need to get done today, so I will continue working through those. Okay, so I have my coffee made, and I just put some ice in there. I added a little of this white chocolate raspberry creamer and just a splash of skim milk. To the coffee, I'm just going to put these dishes away and then I'm going to do some boiled eggs in the pressure cooker. So what I did there was just put a one and a half cups of water in my pressure cooker. I put a dozen eggs in on the steam basket, uh, closed the steam vent and lock the door set the timer for six minutes on steam and in six minutes i should have boiled eggs so my coffee's made my eggs are boiling and now i'm just going to fold the load of laundry that i did this morning
So one other thing that I'm going to do while my eggs are cooking and I go back to work is I'm going to bring this out of the freezer. And it is some homemade pumpkin bread that I made about two weeks ago. And I put most of it in the freezer so it would keep longer and I'm going to thaw some of this out. I have a little packet of a little squeeze frosting that I can use with it. But I'm going to thaw this out and eat on this for this week, maybe this week and next week. And as you can see right here, the pressure cooker is starting to build the steam, so we should have eggs soon. So I'm taking my lunch break now and I'm going to make me some lunch. I'm just going to warm up some of this grilled chicken and I'm going to steam some rice. And since that will make more than one serving, I'm going to divide it up and put part of it into a container and have it for lunch tomorrow. While I'm warming up my lunch, my eggs have been cooling and I'm gonna go ahead and get them peeled. And then I think I'm gonna peel some potatoes and make me some potato soup. chicken is done. My rice is steamed, so I'm fixing to make me a plate to eat and put some of this up in a container for lunch tomorrow. I have my potatoes peeled and cubed, a little butter, salt and pepper in the water. They are on and I'm just going to let those start making some potato soup and that's going to be my dinner for this week. So this is going to be a couple of days when I divide this up for lunch. Let's see how many servings are in here. Serving size, one bag. Wow, this actually says that the whole bag is a serving. One serving per container, serving size, one bag. That's, I don't know. It feels like a lot of rice in there, but... I thought there were two servings. The chicken, it's probably about two. I still think I'm going to divide this up and put some up for tomorrow for lunch. Uh, the chicken and the rice. And I will have the potato soup for dinner. And the eggs are four to go with my breakfast this week. And I will be, I have a couple of cans of tuna. I'm going to make up some tuna salad. Okay, so I still don't understand why that bag said that one whole serving was one full bag because I divided that up. Even splitting it in half, that still looks like a good bit. Um, I know when I was doing the Weight Watchers freestyle, the chicken would have been zero points no matter how much of it I ate. But this still looks like a big, health, healthy, hearty lunch um and then i put the other half of the rice and the other half of the chicken in a bowl for lunch tomorrow so lunch is completely taken care of for tomorrow 
I went ahead and washed up all the dishes. See, my sink is clean and I will only have a, a dish for tonight, which is the soup. And it's just gonna take a little while for the soup to cook. And my pumpkin bread is thawing out so I can have a little piece of pumpkin bread tonight after dinner with my potato soup. Okay, so the potato soup is done. And I added some cheese to melt. And what I did when I, the soup was finished, I just turned the eye off and let the soup cool down. And I put the cheese in there. So potato soup is done. I'll be ready to eat shortly and get started with my evening to-dos. So after work, I decided to get out and about in the old Camaro. And I came out to the, if you can see, I'm at the BJ's Wholesale. I needed trash bags and a few things. So I decided that I would just come out here. Honestly, um, I've only been out of the house twice in the last week and a half. And that was for hurricane preparation and a little case of cabin fever after the first day they moved us out of the hurricane uh, on standby. So I thought it might be nice just to get out for a little bit today. I had to run a few errands anyway, and I wasn't planning to do them till the weekend. But I thought, oh, that's beautiful this evening, and why not? So I came out to the BJ's Club Wholesale, whatever you call this place, and I'm going to get some trash bags and just kind of look around and see what they have in there, and then run a couple of errands, and then go home and do my evening chores and get some of that delicious-looking potato soup. Okay, just got back from the BJ's Wholesale Club and i am got to put my things away and I didn't get to do one of the errands that I went out to do, of course. I was going to deposit some money in the bank for my daughter to send to her and of course the ATM machine is down, the guy's working on it, blah, blah, blah. So I just gotta run back out in the morning. But in the meantime, y'all, I think I've been homebound way too much in the last two weeks because I went in there in that BJ's Wholesale Club and I literally spent $118. But I did get laundry stuff, which is probably way more laundry stuff than what I'm gonna need down here by myself in a month. And I did get me a new um, card for the camera. So there was that. Anyway, I'm gonna get these things put away and then I still have to do my zone chores for today because this morning I got a little late start getting things done and I didn't do my zone chores yet for today. <sighs> Gotta do that hot spot and then do my nighttime routine and wind down and finally put an end to this day in the life. <laughs> okay, so I have all the things put away um, that I got from the BJ's Wholesale. Hung my little Aldi bags up so that I can remember to take them back out to the car. And I'm warming my soup up. Um, so I'm going to do my hot zone or hot spot cleaning real quick and then do my quick uh, zone cleaning for the day and then start my nighttime routine, which my zone cleaning chore for today is to clean off the tables like my dining room table, which we don't eat at, is still like cluttered. Like here's my Red Cross vest still out because I was tentatively supposed to go work at the shelter. Just got some junk there. Got to clear that off. Um, my coffee tables, I'm packing everything up to move. So I pretty much got everything packed up, but there was a lot of stuff that I set up high out of the floor in, in case we had flooding, which is all these weights 
and these things right here that don't normally set up on the table. So I'm just gonna put these things away and I'm debating about whether or not to put these tables in the spare bedroom where I'm staging all of my boxes that I have packed up, but I don't know. Kind of like low-key want to just be lazy and just leave that stuff sitting on that table. I don't know. And I got to clean my little desk off in here and that little table. So that's what I'm going to do for my 15 minute zone cleaning today is just clearing off all these tables and get to knock out this little hot spot real quick. And then I'll hopefully by then my soup will be done and I can eat and then get started on my night time. <laughs> As you see, in less than a minute, the hot spot was cleaned off. I'm leaving these candles here. Again, some um, tentative hurricane prep, I'm gonna kinda leave in place just because there are two more systems out in the tropics right now that the National Hurricane Center is keeping a very close and watchful eye on. And so just in case, because we are in the heart of hurricane season and I am still gonna be here for another month, leaving the candles out, leaving a few things kind of in place. Um, so I just, mostly everything else was some mail that needed to be thrown away and some mail that needed to be put in the office to address. So that was it for that. <music> kitchen not chores and I did my zone cleaning chores so let me show you how that turned out and I am winding down pretty much finished with this whole day so I washed my dishes and then I shined out my sink I keep this little tray in there just to put dishes in to keep things from scrubbing the bottom of the sink I should have one on both sides I don't know why I don't it's just, I don't know. Anyway, I did shine the sink, cleaned it up tonight. Wiped off the counters, so wiped off the stove, and I'm letting the soup cool off. One thing I figured out during all this hurricane prep, I have packed up pretty much everything in my house, including my meal prep containers. So I realized that I meal prep this huge pot of potato soup and I don't have anything to store it in so I'm just gonna have to stick it in the refrigerator in this pan and I gotta be eating a lot of soup in the next couple of days so counters are wiped off floor has been swept so the kitchen is done okay so my zone cleaning chores were to clean off the tables uh, this table is cleared away except for my laptop and my notebook because after I finish everything up and wind down for the night, I do have to do some schoolwork. Uh, hot spot was cleaned. This table, basically I decided I'm not moving the tables into the other room because they're just going to have to be back in here in three weeks anyway. So I only left this little tray that Henry got me on there. I did take a lot of the books and put them in the bookcase in the office because I can only read one book at a time. So on this table, I have my diffuser and the book that I'm currently reading, plus a little uh, daily, kind of like a little daily affirmation book I'm reading. See, that's just like a little thing to read every day. It's kind of like a little affirmation. And then this is the book that I am currently reading. And cleared off my desk. For the most part keeping this thing right here handy for a while just have my planner and my little journal that I'm working in every morning and on these I decided this was a nice place to just keep my workout material because these are the things that I use for the beach body program that I'm currently doing so I use these every day 
and I thought sitting on that table would be probably handier than keeping them in the floor. And I still have that equipment right there is belongs to Piedmont Healthcare. And they are supposed to be sending me a box to ship that to them. So I'm still waiting on that. And then let's see here where we're at on our evening routine. So our evening routine for the house is to vacuum and sweep, which I swept the kitchen. I'm not doing the whole floors in the house until this weekend because I still have sandbags in the living room floor and I'm gonna wait till I figure out what to do with them before I decide to sweep them up the whole floor. Dishwasher, not running the dishwasher right now. I wash the dishes, tidy and put away. I've pretty much done that. And lay out clothes for tomorrow, which that is done as well. And then I just have my self-care after I have a bath, my hair serum, my night cream, makeup remover, and put on some body lotion. So I will show you one final thing. And here are my clothes laid out for tomorrow. It's going to be sunny and 90, so I'm just wearing a pair of shorts and a cute little lightweight top. So I decided to just leave this out for, I'm only going to be here for three more weeks and there's some more systems that the Hurricane Center is tracking, so I might as well leave it out. I may use it before it's done. Oh, there's my beach towel that I got to put back in the car and my emergency bag. And look right here. Oh, girl. So I got my towels out and I have a candle lit in the bathroom. I'm going to go take me a nice hot bath. So I just wanted to touch on one thing real quick. I know I didn't film any part of my miracle morning this morning and that was on purpose. For me personally, I feel like the time that I set aside that is my miracle morning is, is very private and very personal time that I have devoted to my self growth and my self um, development and self awareness it's to myself. And so I think that Sometimes, a lot of times, we live in a world where everything is out there and I don't know, maybe it's just my generation, maybe I'm a little old school, but I still believe that there are certain aspects of our lives that should be guarded and should be hidden from, you know, the world and social media and everybody and so my personal development and my personal growth um, time is very guarded and so I do my miracle morning and then I start in with my fly lady routines another thing too is getting up at 5 a.m. when I do my miracle morning it is way too dark to be filming because it is super dark in here anyway so but I will show you the steps of the miracle morning and what I do myself um, if you if you've heard of the miracle morning which you probably have it's like super popular but it's just a book written by Hal Elrod and it's just basically about doing these certain things um, taking the time in the morning to start your day doing these certain steps that can really set you up for a successful day and a successful life. And there's an acronym called SAVERS that he uses in the book and I will go through those each with you and show you what I do. So the first letter of SAVERS is S and that stands for silence and so that can be meditation or just sitting quietly or sitting spending time in prayer just whatever you decide to do and some mornings when it just starts getting daylight i like to go outside and sit out by the pond and i'll just sit out there quietly and just kind of 
sit with my thoughts and think. Or sometimes I do meditation when I first get up. Now, there are great apps out there that you can use to meditate. Um, Headspace is a great one. I have used it and I like it, but I don't have it downloaded. I don't use it often. I actually use the meditation that's available with Audible. And I will show you um, if it will pick this up. I'm not sure, but it's a, a, adaptive. Active A A P T I V, and um, they've got like a lot of different meditations in there. And this was like a, a 21 days of meditation. I really like it. So sometimes I just repeat it over. A is for affirmations, and I sometimes will pull up a YouTube video that's just like reciting over affirmations. Um, I also have in my iTunes music an album that's affirmations and a lot of mornings when I go out and walk, like I love to go out and walk around the pond as the sun is rising and, and just be out there close to the water watching this, the day begin, you know, as the sun rises and I will listen to these affirmations on my Apple TV or Apple TV on my Apple music. Uh, the V is for vision, and that's just to spend some time thinking about your vision, like where you want to be, you know, like what is your end goal. And a lot of people take time to work on a vision board. There is actually an app called Vision Board that I have downloaded. And these are some of the pictures of my vision board, which, of course, most of them all have palm trees and a house in Isla Mirada. I mean, that's been my vision. I'm going back to Georgia, but I'm not gonna pretend that my dream life still isn't going to be living somewhere tropical under palm trees with blue water and drinking lots and lots of coconut rum. It is what it is. Okay, back to savers. The E is for exercise and I do beach body on demand. That is my, I go walking um, in the mornings and I do beach body programs. So that is my exercise. The R is for reading and I actually have this little book. It's called You Are a Badass Every Day. And so every day there's like a little daily, like a little challenge like a little affirmation, like just some little something to read every day. And so I read that every day. And the point of reading in the, the Miracle Morning is to read something that's going to enrich you, something that's gonna help you grow and learn. And I've heard a lot of good reviews on this book. And currently I am reading Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Um, I heard some reviews on this book that were so powerful, the reviews alone, that I just had to get this book. So this is what I'm currently reading. So every day I spend time doing my reading. And then the final S is for scribing, and that's journaling. So I have several different journals that I work in, but I currently have two journals that I'm kind of rotating back and forth from and this one is called start where you are and it's just a journal for self-exploration now it's really it's really cool and it really like kind of helps you like get deep in there and explore like your own mind and really kind of come together with getting to know yourself the other one is called and don't judge but it's called zen as the and it's a journal for practicing the mindful art of not giving a shit. And basically, it's witty, it's funny. Yes, it uses cuss words, but it just like really like it helps me put so many things in perspective. So this is my savers: um, silence, and meditation, affirmations, my vision board, 
my exercising, my reading, and my journaling. And that those are just things that I don't see any point in recording because those are all really kind of personal and kind of private. And um, But that is, I do my Miracle Morning every day. So that is it. And with my Fly Lady routines, working from home, trying to fix meals and meal prep, and working on some of my schoolwork. That's basically, in a nutshell, my whole day. So that's pretty much it. Everything has been done today. Um, just got to take a bath and do my nighttime skincare routine and gonna do a little reading and a little work on my writing assignment, a little bit of my schoolwork, and that is going to be, it, it is bedtime, and that has been a day in my life. Thank you so much for watching. Have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.